All right, guys, welcome to another video of the Janice Key Project. Now, of course, you're looking at this and you're seeing two brute choppers, chopper, chopper, choppers, and obviously we have two different boxes. So, uh, see, I got this one first. Yes, I got this one first, and I put it together, well, it came assembled, rather, and it was missing a couple of pieces. And you know about the Janus Key Project. I'm not going to repeat that. So this is one of the reasons I decided I would just only get new um, inbox items for this project. So anyway, I got this item. And not only was it missing a piece, which is missing this piece right here. And I replaced it with a Lego piece. That is similar, but not quite the same. This is kind of a light. You can see this is a light color versus this silver color here that matches the wheels here. Um, and it didn't have the figures or the weapons. So I was very frustrated and very upset. Um, actually, I had this was the box that it came in. So I started looking on eBay and Macari for another one new in box to replace it and on Macari I found this I says oh wait a minute this is a different set it says no it's the same set they have the same numbers nine six eight four five nine six eight four five seventy four pieces seventy four pieces you know and after opening them up I realized that they're just the same item with two different boxes and this one was released in 2010. I'm trying to get the focus there. Not really focused, but I think you can see it's 2010 right here. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then this one was released earlier in 2009. That's a nine. And let me, it's not focusing on that, but it's a nine, trust me. And not only are the covers different, That's similar but different. Well, you see what I did here. So they should, you, they match up. That's different. That's different. The information on here is pretty much the same. So a few things that are different, um, but not much. It's top of the box. In the back of the box, you can tell the difference in what they, um, advertise I can tell this is the earlier set because all these are this and this are both the the this set and this set are both 2010 release the gremlin and rocket hall versus locust are both 2010 but this the original warthog is a 2009 release so this is a late 2000 this is probably this came out early 2010 and it appears in late 2010 they re-released it because everything on here is a 2010 release uh the same um two items on the bottom um the gremlin and the rocket hog versus versus the locust but they replaced the warthog Oh, ironically, this is still called the Warthog with the same identical number. But as you can see, it's actually um, the Arctic version of the Warthog. All right. So this is only 74 pieces. So let's take a quick go ahead and build this up. Try to make this one video. I cut it open already. Yeah. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, nothing else is in there. Advertisement some for something else Mega had in 2010. Dragon's Universe. Okay. And Streets. Hmm, that's interesting. Build a city. Oh, this looks like Mega's version of 
<laughs> this is Mega's version of Lego's City. I guess we should say, since this is a 2010 release, Lego City, I think, is a much newer version. So we, anyway, we're not going to get into that. Who copied off of who? All right. So the instructions are the exact same. I've looked at these already. There's no difference in them. Yep, I looked through them, so I'm not going to waste a lot of time with that. So let's get busy. Step one. I, I got everything I need. Got my little mega tool here and my scissors. All right, so while I open these pieces up and sort them out a little bit, if you have not, well, I guess by the time you see this video, uh, the vote for our next Halo fan pick item will be over so i won't think while well, i would like to encourage you to vote but like i said it'll be over with by the time this video is released but i hope you voted i hope you voted okay got those separated there you guys know the no one of the <clears throat> big rules of building Never throw your bags away until you're finished building. Oh, this was in there too. The there's a name for this, I'm sure. Oh, there we go. It, but I don't know what it is. It's a brick that's in there that has the number on it, serial number of some type, and this number matches this number on the box. Yeah. Number on the brick is Alpha 20040 Mike Lima, which is the same thing on here. 40 Mike Lima, right there. Okay. Anyway, I don't think a lot of times you have to use these bricks in the builds, but I don't think we use that in this build, but we'll see. Okay. Let's finish opening these up. There's our purple brute. Brute shot. Put you guys over here. Here's my UNSC weapon. And here is a Marine. Fully masked. Okay. I wonder would they have another one of these in here? Probably not extra pieces sometimes they have in there. Uh, nope, doesn't look like I get an extra piece. You know what that goes to already? Oh, the backpack. Here's a backpack too. Put my angle bricks over here. Pieces to the gun. We know that's going to go to the weapons emplacement. That's part of the gun itself. Okay. And our last bag right here. Hmm. More wheel parts, angle parts. Yeah. Okay, guys, it's not much here. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time separating this out. So let's get busy building. First up, we need these four pieces. That one, this way. Oh. And you go like that. And y'all go together like this. Man, this is Mm, doesn't snap in. Nope, doesn't snap in. Step, oh, okay, step two. You need one of these silver one by twos. 
Can it hold that in place? Is it one here? Yep, right there. Oh, you know, I said this in a, another video. But man, it's amazing how much the quality of Mega's products improved from one year to the other. It is just amazing. Okay, so this we need two of those. We need four of these little hinge pieces, studs, whatever. One, two, three, four. Yep. Four of those. One. One by two towel. One of you guys. Get your pieces out of the way here. I didn't give myself enough room, really. That. The T piece. T P T P T P. And this. Okay. So. To my fellow Halo companions. What have you... <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. What have you guys been doing? Oh, you know what? Let's do this. The Janus Key Project. What in the Sam Hill is that? Obviously, the name came from the Janus Key. That little scene in um, Guardians. Not Guardians. Not Guardians. I'm, I just pulled a blank right now, so we're going to keep on... I'm going to talk about it and keep on going. But you guys know the scene where the librarian is talking to Dr. Halsey, and she says, this is a Janus key. It holds a real-time location of every piece of Forerunner technology. And Halsey, dumbfounded as any of us would be, by every piece? And the librarian says, yes. We did not create so much without a means of cataloging it all. And Mega hasn't really cataloged everything <laughs> they've done for Halo. And so as a new collector, I was, as a friend of mine would say, bummed out and depleted when I started collecting and getting and buying uh, used pieces you know, the collectors were selling and realized that, hey, oh, is there another piece? Hang on. Yeah, let's replace this. This piece is the same, but it's not the same color. So let's go over here. Replace, replace that with this. So anyway, I... decide as I... Uh, began to try to piece sets together, I quickly realized there was nothing that I could use to really put pieces together. I mean, put sets together as a reference point. Um, of course, Mega has their website, and it's pretty good. It is a good marketing tool, but it is not good for... Um, it is not good for archives, uh, detailing, giving us information. Um, there are sets that are not, that have never been on their website, such as some of the exclusives, uh, like Walmart, Target, uh, Toys R Us. Some of those exclusive sets have never made it to their website. So if you didn't know about them, you just, you would have never known about them. So now I need this. All right, get you out of the way. You don't throw these bags away, but you do need to get them out your way when you're building. And another one of these. Another one bites the dust. Um, so I became frustrated and decided to build my own. But I didn't know where to start. So I talked to a couple of people, got some advice 
on what to do or, or just how to get started, really. I'm talking right in my mouth. I need to be paying attention to what I'm doing. So this goes here. And then you go here. Hmm. We got a gap right here. What do we want to do with this gap? Trust the process, trust the process, trust the process and just build. This is going to be interesting with this gap right here. Okay. Yeah, zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. Anyway, um, and I remember talking and I say talking, emailing back and forth. One of the people I talked to was Brickman117. And he was like, yes, go for it. The community has really been needing that. Which told me, and really to be honest with you guys, when I started off, I wasn't looking to do it. I was really hoping to work with someone else and they do it and I just help them with it. But that didn't work because Brickman didn't say it, but he wasn't... Um, really able to yeah you know you guys know he has his own projects going and that wasn't really what he was doing and he's not doing so and, and i'm not upset with him about that it's just you know what was going on get on here you um and then the next person i talked to that really kind of pumped me up you know everybody needs a hype man was um simon keys you know, from the domain. And between those two, it was really like, yep, go for it. So you know what? I'm going for it. It doesn't really tell you which way this is supposed to go on here. It doesn't, but it. Okay, guys, let's look at something here. So according to this, yeah, that should be this piece right here, most definitely. And this piece. Ah. Oh, there we go, snap, snap, snap. And then, Ah, I see, said the blind man. And then he took out his hammer and saw. And then he wants us to apply some stickers. Now, I typically don't apply my stickers. And I'm not going to this time either. I'm just not going to do it. What did I do? Somehow, I have missed a complete step. Oh, yes, I did. I was wondering. Now, this makes sense. Ugh. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, now it comes together. So, you guys know this is uh, funny, huh? One of these days, I think I'm going to get better at this, putting things together and talking. Hmm, looks pretty good. Rolls very well. I like it. Okay, so now we're on step four. Are we looking like that? We're looking like that. Step five, got this. Okay, so step six. Step six. Oh, well, these are gonna be the handles, I believe. Okay, so anyway, after talking to Brickman and Simon and going for it, deciding to do it, the next, the uh, or deciding to do it, or committing to do it 
the next step was, well, how the heck do I do it? Well, I'm an old guy and I used to collect G.I. Joe's, the real American hero version. And there's a website, um, yojo.com, I believe it is. And to some degree, I decided to model the website, the Jansky project in some ways like that, but kind of make it more of a blog because I like the way you can search the blog, the way I have it set up on the site now better than I do their site. Mm. Guess it doesn't really matter as long as they're this way, huh? Now the top half of this. Yep. So in case you haven't been to the site, you can go to it. It's www.thejaniskeyproject.com. And I will, of course, put a link in the notes below. Get on here, you. Get on here, you. Get on here, you. Why you been so difficult? The problem with having, well, I'd rather have this kind of difficulty with these building sets from Mega than the ones I've had in the past, like with the, um, um, I keep telling about that my, my worst, my worst ever building experience was that freaking Hornet or whatever that thing was from 2009. That silver thing. Yes. I refuse to even call it what it is. Cool. Okay. So get these translucent bricks here. Oh, we need one and two. Do one. Two of these. Two of these. Two one by two plates. One. Mm, oops. One one by one two by. Yeah. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to do. Clear translucent. Two of these cheese wedges. Two. Those are the dark gray. One by two. Uh, dark gray. One by two. Plates. One, one by two plates, rather. That's a two by two plates. And then we need two of these. Yeehaw. There we go. All right. Oh, nope. We need some more things. No. Oh, there they are. Thought I didn't have some pieces there. Okay. So, guys, as, we, as I was saying, I pontificate. I went ahead and started the website. Like I said, I preferred the way I did it simply because um, I think it allows better search capabilities. And if you would, please go to the website. Again, it's www.thejaniskeyproject.com and tell me what you think and if you see something that's wrong or inaccurate drop me an email on the line on the website and says hey um might want to double check this information right here i believe it's this that and the other and i will double check it to make sure i have it right These are angled up. Ouch. Ouch. That hurt. That actually hurt. Of course, I get it on there. I put it on there wrong. In there. 
Mama said there would be days like this, but she never said there would be this many of them. Mm, nobody needs to be there. Let's do this here. Yes. And reinforce you right there. Bam. Now we need these two. What have I done? Lord, I done put this thing together backwards. Lord, have mercy. See, when this is the thing that happened when you try to do too much, as the young people say. I'm trying to talk and put these sets together. And I hope y'all not laughing too hard at me. this away yeah there we go I got this whole thing on here backwards no this might be the last video I try this but we shall see are we looking like our picture there yes we are now there they are oh. I got these at a little angle. Okay. Man, this thing better fit on here right after I did all this because I'm going to be more than just a little bit upset and disappointed with myself if it doesn't. I just realized it's a 1 by 3 not a 1 by 2 Okay. They only have like nine steps. I got a whole lot of extra pieces over here. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's get this on here. We'll put you on last. Oh, oh, yeah, that works out pretty good. I got these little things right here angled out. I guess the guy's pigeon toed or something. Did y'all know brutes were pigeon toed? Where's that? Yeah. Okay, so that's on that. Ah, oh, ta da! Look at that. Look at that awesome piece of chopper. Mm. Okay, anyway, having too much fun here. It says I don't have. So next we need two cone pieces. Two of the silvery things. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Two of these extra long wedge pieces. And then these two pieces. Okay. What do we have here? What? Well, oh, I need these four silver pieces here. Okay, so we we'll do this. Put these two one by twos together, and come on now, go, 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 and then that goes in here, right, right. And then on this side, do the same thing. 
two silver blocks here. Boom. You go right here. Get on here, you. Hey guys. Uh, trivia. Do you know who actually made the very first brute choppers? It was a Herogok. Uh, so they want this to go up at a little bit of angle. Huh? Oh, this is really, they do want these at an angle. I thought I just was looking at that wrong, but that's an angle actually. Yes, a hero got made it. And you should read the book or I say read, I really don't have time to read, but what I will do a lot of times is I listen to a book on Audible. And that's what you should do. If you're like me and what I do, you're busy and you really don't have time to read a lot, any extra material. So what I end up doing a lot of times, most of you know, if you watch some of the other videos, I am in the Army Reserves. And hang on a second, guys. Ah, I'm in the. Oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. I am in the Army Reserves, and I have my drive to my new unit. It's a couple hours away. Yep, it's worth it though. But anyway, it's a couple hours away, and so I typically listen to a Halo book as I drive. This thing is supposed to be the angle up. Oh, there it is. Boom, boom. That is awesome. These two fin pieces go where? Oh, back here in the back. Yeah, so back to this. A herogok, a herogok, herogok. Herogok, Herogok made the first brute choppers and he made them during the battle, the first battle of harvest. This looks like our, oh, they have it turned this way. I guess you could do that too. Ladies and gentlemen, there we go. That's pretty good. Look, that looks pretty good. And so as you see, both of these, even though they came in different style boxes, they are identical. This piece here is different. Like I said, this is my replacement piece. Even without the stickers, I think it looks pretty good. I just realized that this piece, this set rather, not only was it missing the figures and the weapons, and this cone right here on the other side, it doesn't have the little transparent pieces here. But it's still an awesome looking set. And then we put this over here. Oh, you know what else it didn't have, guys? It didn't have the gun emplacement. So yeah, I was very, very upset. But like I said, a Herogok made the very first um, a quiet, peace-loving Herogok made the very first uh, Brute Chopper. As I said again, in the... Where'd you come from? You came off the old set or the new set? This set. Hmm. 
out of all things, he made it out of tractor parts or pieces that were meant to be you or um things that were meant to be used for harvesting farming equipment yes yeah, he made out of farming equipment and he was very very cause himself he thought he made a mistake gonna try and make things better so he made and not and if you know anything about the hero Gox, they're innocent creatures um and not fully understanding what was going on he decides to make a take some damage um equipment harvesting equipment and make something with it and improve he actually improved what it was meant for which was tilling the ground that's why it has these little blades. Well, they don't show up as blades here so much, but they were meant to be. He took some equipment that was meant to use to till the ground on harvest. He took them, made them better, showed them to the uh, Jirahane. The Jirahane chieftain was like, hmm, this is, we can use this. It just needs some weapon mounts some weapon placements. So the first one didn't have any <clears throat> weapon placements, weapon mounts. And the um, hero gog, not the hero gog, the Jirahane just simply took the choppers, drove around on them, and used their handheld weapons. And that's how we got our first choppers. Oof. Sometimes you get these new figures, man. These older figures with the wash. What happens? They put this wash on them. You can, you can hear it popping and snapping. And um, they bag them up. Hmm, there we go. And they're stiff, and sometimes you have to kind of break the little seal that's on there. You have to be careful because you can break the seal and break the figures. As a matter of fact, the other day I completely broke the head off of a red um, Marine trying to get them together. Let's see here. I'm gonna do this. I don't. Oh no 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 no! These work. I remember now. These work better like this. Turn the hands down and let them grab the gun here. Yeah, that's that little, that's the one problem I have with these, and that is, they do that. You just tap these. Now, this fits in here pretty good. Some of the 2009, I don't remember what it was. You just barely touch it, and it pops out. Later on, here we go, here we go. Now, that's low enough. For him to actually attack the incoming. We have a lot of leftover pieces. A lot of leftover pieces. Yeah, and it's funny. So, look at these pieces on the sheet here. Kind of rambling, I know, guys. I'm sorry. I'm rambling. But if you go through and you actually look at the pieces in the part sheet, look at the instruction in the part sheet, you'll see that there are a lot of pieces, extra pieces. 
that are always included, like these little silver. Pieces, one by twos, it says you get five of them. We used, we had more than that because we used two of them here. One, two, two there, that's four. And one there, nope. Oh, right here on the front, that's five. But you had seven. One smooth one by two tile, dark gray, which is the seat right here, the seat right there, but you have three of these. So, and according to here, we only have one, one by four, but here's two one by fours. And the fourth one, the third one rather, is right in here, right in there. We use when we were making this chassis part right here. But at any rate, you always get extra pieces Usually it's not pieces that you would need extra of. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. But um, it is what it is. But it's never anything that you can use to actually build. Now you can save the extra pieces if, if and you want to and use them to extra pieces from here, some extra pieces from somewhere else and use them to uh, build something. But yeah. I wonder is that the origins of the two in one sets? Extra pieces. Yeah. Let's get this guy in here. We'll put him on the old one for now. Get that hand right there. Get in there, you. Get in there. Get, uh -oh. Get in my belly. Get on my bike. Okay, so that did not work out very well. Let's try this again. There we go. There we go. Feet are a little short, they don't quite reach, but you know, here we go. Here we go. What we got here? Now we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Brute Chopper versus UNSC Marine emplacement, gun emplacement. Who do you think will win? Yep. All right, guys. So that's it for this. Oh, wait a minute. I typically do. Huh, this set right here, overall, it was an easy build, wasn't complicated. I made some missteps here and there, but that was simply because I was talking and trying to carry on a conversation while I was doing it. I think it looks realistic. It's um, It works the way it should. Wheels turn, balance, even without the extra piece, it would look better because it'd be sitting up like this, like it should be because this aft section is supposed to hover off the ground. But at any rate, um, it looks good. It's believable, especially the weapons over here where the UNSC Marine has. I wish it had a place we could store his weapon though, like, you know, while he's on the turret. Um, it was easy build, wasn't too difficult. Looks realistic, everything works fine. I love the colors. It would look good on display because that's what I'm going to do with it. And so overall, oh, the brick quality is greatly improved from the other sets that Mega had from 2009. These are extra pieces. We got a few extra pieces that we can use. So was this set perfect? Mm. I'm trying to see what I don't like about it. There's something about this set I don't like. And I can't think of anything. Oh uh, man, so I'm gonna have to give this set. Man, because I have to get a perfect five. 
Stickers look nice. Holds together nicely. The only thing I can take off from it is his legs don't quite fit. I think these are supposed to be like the gas pedals, foot rest, and they don't quite fit. But other than that, I don't know what to say. I can't take anything from it. And the crazy thing is, do I like this more than I do the Wolverine? Because right now the Wolverine with those firing missiles is number one. I don't know if I like this more, but it's definitely up there. So I'm going to give this, man, I don't want to give it a five. I'm going to give it a 4.8. And I figure out why later. 4.8. Yeah. That's it, guys. 4.8. I'm sorry. That's it. 4.8. So that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Put your comments below. Good, bad, and different. Until next time, Spartans, attention, dismissed.